Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you the process of washing and applying some protection to this pretty mucky estate car. It does a lot of motorway miles and also drives quite a bit in the countryside as well. Hence it's accumulated a fair bit of mud and traffic film and it's definitely in need of a good clean. Some of you may recognise this car if you have been around for a reasonable amount of time. Around six months ago I cleaned this car when it was brand new. It had a wash one month after that video and hasn't been washed in the past five months so that's why it is quite dirty here. The arches were particularly bad on this car just due to the amount of mud build up. So I first went in with Green Star All Purpose Cleaner at 10% in the IK sprayer after giving them a good rinse down and gave those a good scrub. Once I'd dealt with the arches it was time to go in and clean the tyres. So for this I used Autoglans Rebound which is probably my favourite tyre cleaner, it is really potent stuff so I knew it was going to be a good option for these tyres in particular. I did give them two passes as I just wanted to really make sure that they were thoroughly cleaned and I was happy on the second pass that this product had actually done a really good job at cleaning these tyres despite how much mud build up there was. I wanted to clean the wheelbarrows before cleaning the faces on this car just because I knew there would be a lot of dirt in there and I wanted to avoid getting the faces particularly dirty and rubbing that dirt back into the finish. So I used my Easy Detail brush and some Garage Therapy Wheel Shampoo in the IK Filmer. Clean those first and then rinse those off before moving onto the faces with that same mixture of the wheel shampoo. So there was around 15ml to 500ml of water here. I used the Garage Therapy wheel mitt to actually clean the faces and behind the spokes of these alloys and I also used a GB detailing brush just to get around the wheel nuts where the mitt couldn't reach properly. Once the wheels were done it was time to move back onto the paintwork so I started off by just rinsing the car down to remove as much of that loose dirt as possible before continuing with any chemicals. So I first went in with the Power Max traffic film remover as I really didn't want to mess about and I knew there wasn't any protection on the car underneath. So I used this at a 1 in 10 dilution in the IK sprayer and sprayed this all over the vehicle. A couple of minutes after applying that traffic film remover I then coated the car in Carchem Pre Soak Plus Snow Foam, which is an alkaline snow foam, just to give a little bit more dwell time to the traffic foam remover underneath, and also just give it a little bit more of a kick in places where I potentially might not have reached as well.
it was a fairly cool day so I got away with just over 10 minutes of dwell time before rinsing off the car and I was happy that at this stage the car was clean enough to continue with the contact wash. For the contact wash I use Soft 99 Neutral Shampoo which is actually mildly acidic despite the name and that is just to help neutralise the water hardness, it's not anything to do with cleaning ability in this case. I thought this shampoo did do a decent job however it's not really my favourite. It wasn't the most sudsy or the most slick that I have used and the dilution ratio wasn't particularly anything special. The consistency of it almost felt slightly thin and that's the best way I can probably describe it really. It did a decent job, but it's probably not something I would buy a full bottle of, if I am totally honest. I also used some brushes, so my other GB detailing brush and the Because Race Car Box brush topped up with a little bit of that Green Star All Purpose Cleaner at 10% just to clean some of the badges and around the trim. Just a quick reminder if you are enjoying the video so far, it would be fab if you could drop it a like. It's always very appreciated and it does help to get the video out there to more people as well. Once I'd done the contact wash, it was then time to move on to the protection stage after rinsing the vehicle down. So for this, I actually used Built Hamber Touch On. So I had a 30ml sachet and put that into one litre of water into my foam cannon and then sprayed it all over the entire vehicle before leaving it to dwell for just a few minutes and then rinsed it off. As you can see on application, particularly on the windows, it almost seems to have a reaction already. So I potentially didn't need much dwell time here. After those few minutes I did rinse the car down and you can see the water behaviour here was pretty solid. For such a weak dilution, just 30ml into a litre of water, I was very happy with the performance here and it's definitely a product that I would like to try again. I do still have a few more sachets of this that I can use and test on other cars too. I didn't directly apply it to the alloys but a bit did drip down and this actually left some pretty solid protection there too. I'm not 100% sure on the durability of this product yet but it's something that I can look to monitor. Once I've thoroughly rinsed the car down I then just gave it a towel dry using a twisted loop drying towel on the paintwork and a separate towel for the wheels and the tyres. For the tyre dressing today I used Infinity Wax Tyre Co and I just have a sample of this as well. This comes in a sprayable format which was incredibly easy to apply and I didn't have any issues with it streaking. You didn't need much of the product either to get an even coverage and I thought it left a really nice finish. Not too glossy or showy but just left sort of a darkening satin effect that I think really suited these tyres.
I'll put a link on screen to another vehicle transformation I've done to check out if you are new to the channel. If you have enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you could drop it a like. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.